<laughs> Reese has got a reputation. It's on the altar. Matthew 10, 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Now this is Jesus talking. Now how many people in the world know that Jesus actually said this verse? If you went up to somebody and said Jesus didn't come to bring peace, he came to bring a sword, they would look at you crazy. But a lot of people don't know the real biblical Jesus. Amen. In the 2024, I was praying the other day, and I kept on saying this knife. And this knife is, was splitting the nation in half. And I think God is going to send a big split in the nation in half. It's going to come through politics. Because kind of like 2020, everybody remember 2020, when everybody was so divided with Black Lives Matter and, you know, Trump, Biden, and all that stuff like that. I think God is going to do that again. But this time, you know, don't get caught up in the politics. I know some of you are Republican, Democrat. Really, none of that matters. We're supposed to be kingdom. Amen. Like, Don't get caught up in the politics. You can vote for whoever you want to, but realize what really matters is your brothers and sisters. Whether you're black, white, yellow, blue, or green, we all covered in the blood, so we all should be voting red. You know? Amen. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, man, I believe in 2024, man, there's been some crazy stuff happening. Me and Pastor Ron have been talking about it. But don't be surprised when you start seeing more UFOs. Nephilim and alien, man. It's real. It's yeah. very real. Yeah. And I believe some of y'all might actually start seeing some of 2024. So don't get freaked out when you see a 10 foot uh, demon walking down the road. Like, oh, that's wrong. Yeah, Amen. <laughs> but I believe a lot of conspiracy theories will be proven true in 2024. A lot of things that people are speculating about, they're going to start getting exposed as, uh, as real. So the real thing is going to be exposed as fake. And the fake things are going to be exposed as real. And God told me he's going to give his people ears to hear and eyes to see. So don't be surprised when some of y'all are starting a lot of dreams and a lot of visions. I think God will start speaking to the church and prophetically in a way. And you start hearing the voice of God more clear. Believe that voice. You know you ain't thinking that thought. God's trying to speak to you. So yeah. And when God, he's going to start exposing a lot of, uh, a lot of these big time pastors. The ones that believe in double lives. And when they fall, don't judge them. You know, because God doesn't want to expose them, but God is a righteous judge, so he's going to do that because he loves them. So don't talk about them. Don't post them on your Facebook. Just pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. But yeah, other than that, the Lord tell you something else, and I just got to go through it. So yeah. Amen.